has put together a couple um, big home wins. Now you get a chance to you know go play an in-state opponent again on the road. Mm -hmm. um, what's the focus this week to make sure it doesn't go you know the same as the Duke game? Um, I feel like just continuing the things we've been doing uh, in practice. Um, you know, practicing hard and just sticking to the same schedule, the same formula that gets us to uh, winning games. So I feel like that's the biggest thing. And it looked like Miami's offensive line last week got, you know, they're a good unit and they got a lot of hype going into that week. Yeah. Were you guys excited for that challenge to, you know, get to go against those guys? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we always want to play the best, the best of the best, because we feel like we could, we, we put ourselves, our defense up against the best, you know, offenses and stuff. So we want to test that theory every single time. So, you know, yeah. You're a veteran. What is it like to play at Winston-Salem? It feels great. I feel like uh, I mean, I've been here for a while. Uh, I think I missed like two times going there from injury, like in the past. So this might be my second or third time like playing in that stadium. So it's going to be a great time. Does Wake Forest, what difficulties their offense preparing for it uh, schematically? What does that present? Um, they're mesh. They're a uh, mesh type of offense they have. Uh, it's a lot different than anything else in the country. Uh, we feel like so, you know, we're just putting our things together to, you know, just defeat that mesh and that type of offense. Is it really, does that, the gap assignments become and, and seem like they're really important yeah. against a team like that? Absolutely. You got to stand those, you got to hold those gaps a little bit longer just because those running backs and uh, quarterbacks like to bounce stuff out. So as soon as, as soon as you're in your gap, you got to hold it. You can't, uh, you know, rip out because he's mm -hmm. going to take that gap. How, or bounce it back outside. How hard is it not to take the cheese sometimes and chase the ball? Oh, it's real easy because yeah. you see, you see, you know, you lock down and you see the you see the gap wide open. But as soon as you take it, he, the running back has great vision, so he's going to pop it back up. The last few weeks, a couple times, you guys rushing three have still gotten mm -hmm. pressure on the quarterback. Do you challenge each other to do that? And when you're able to get the quarterback with a three man rush, yeah, how, how pumped up does everybody get? It's definitely we. Uh, we it's pride. We we put. Uh, it's a prize, a thing we uh, carry on our shoulder, a chip on our shoulder, just because like the three-man rush is definitely a battle. Uh, it takes three individuals and the type of D-line we have to play a three-down uh, three and execute. So I feel like we have a lot of pride in that and, you know, we play hard. And on a game where you guys have to play like a lot of snaps, how helpful is it to have, you know, the seven defensive linemen yeah. rotation that y'all do have? I feel like it's essential. Um, we get to play, you know, our our couple drives hard as we can, and then as soon as we're gassed, you know, or we, uh, we need to get a break, a whole new fresh set of people that we trust and that still play great uh, come in and give us a breath. Okay, good.